Previously on The Lair. It's Colin. It's not Colin. Colin's dead. I think maybe it's time to do things my way. I could use a guy like you around here. Tom, I love you, but I have to feed. Loving you is killing me. What are you saying, Tom? We're through. There's this ancient ring that's buried somewhere here on the island that protects against all forms of magic. The ring belonged to a very powerful sorcerer. His own coven members cut his head off. So the ring and the head are together. I've got copies of the original parchment and maps with odd drawings on them. You need that copy. What am I supposed to do? Steal it? Now you're talking. Let's go tonight. I gotta warn you, a lot of strange stuff goes down around here. Luckily, I'm a fan of the strange and unusual. A single look from the Gordon turned their victim's body into solid stone. That statue has fingerprints. When I was younger, I was in an accident. My eyes were oh! damaged. Tom. Richie! Goodbye. Richie, no! Richard's attempt to take his own life is a sign of deep mental trauma. You're the guy. I said I was sorry. I can see it in my eyes. <laughs> Too. People I've never seen in here before. Well, I just put the word out and seemed to pay off. <laughs> Good work. Thanks. I find it very sexy when you let your criminal side take charge. <laughs> I have to admit it, but I'm getting pretty good at this. I think this is it. Good work, Philo. This makes everything perfectly clear. Really? No. But right here's a little something. Might be a good jumping off point. Kind of a dead spot on the map. Yeah. What's going on here? There's. What are you doing? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I asked you to see the document and you said no, I, I, I... So you broke into my house? I had to. Why? I thought you and, and me, maybe... I know, I know how this looks. I, I just really needed to see this, you won't understand. You used me. I know. I'm sorry. You want the Ring of Erebus? Maybe. When you find it, then what? Selling artifacts is against the law. Even digging for them is illegal. Well, I don't plan on selling it. <laughs> you can't believe that crazy old story. It's just a legend. There's no magic. I have to know for myself. We got what we need, Tom. Let's blow. Just put down and go. I know. 
how this looks, but I really never meant to hurt you. I just really needed to see the map. That's that's all. I had to. I did you find what you were looking for? Yeah. And get out. Harris, just get out. see me? Colin, you've done some amazing work since you started here. You've really made a difference. I do my best. Revenue should be up. Way up. That's what I like to hear. But it's not. What are you talking about? The house is completely packed. Something's going on. Something rotten. You don't think that I... Oh, no. No, of course not. Ah. But the bartender. I'm worried about him. I know he's been unhappy since you started here. He said as much. Really? So you think he's got his hand in the cookie jar? It's possible. You know, no. He seems like a pretty loyal guy. I don't think he would steal from you. The count's just probably off. The count's not off. I've been keeping track since I first suspected. You know, if there's any discrepancy, I'm sure he's got an explanation. I mean, you gotta give him a chance. That's just fair. You're right. I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm sure everything's going to be just fine. I hope you're right. Oh, I know I am. Closet? Really? Next time, get a room. Thank God, I thought we had rats. <laughs> Look who's gotten all respectable. Oh, you. I guess you didn't see the no spirits allowed sign on the door. Now what kind of a bar doesn't serve spirits? No shoes, no soul, no service. But still here you are. <laughs> you don't bother me, Frankie. You're just a garden variety ghost. Why don't you find some old dump to haunt? Hey, actually, I know one across town. I hear it's pretty empty. Oh, you mean the lair? Yeah, I don't think so, but thanks anyway. Does Damien know you're back? I wouldn't know. Or care. I'm not interested in him anymore. I've got bigger things on my plate. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a doorman now. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want. But I'm gonna be laughing last. Do you get benefits here? You might be needing a good health care plan. Look, Casper, I know you're impotent here. But if you get in my way, I may feel obliged to call in a good exorcist. Remember, I know where the skeletons are buried. Especially yours. Mm. Tough talk. Well, good luck to you. You might be needing it. There's more to life than being dead, my friend. Tom, it's good to see the color returning to your face. I've got a ways to go, but it's working. What is? Being away from you. 
You don't mean that, don't I? I don't believe you do. Do you? More and more every day. What's there to work on? You must know by now that I'm not exerting any influence over you. I've told you the truth. Why can't you accept it? Call me a skeptic. I've kept my word, but you can't even believe your own heart. Do you know what happened to Richie? Richie, have you seen him? He vanished some days ago. Yeah, I saw him. He came here. What you did to him? He put a gun to his head and pulled the trigger! Tom, he was unbalanced. Hearing voices, he was losing his grip on reality. Hmm, I wonder why. Forced to be a slave for a bunch of sex-happy vampire boys. That would drive anyone crazy. Then he's gone. Yeah. He's gone. Tom, I want you back. You mean everything to me. No, it's not going to be that easy. I'm not ready. When will you be? When things change. Don't you understand? Things can't change, Tom. They never will. I am what I am and always will be. You need to change. We can make this happen. Together. I'm not buying it. I need an answer. Soon. Why? You said it yourself, you're not going anywhere. Think about it. Think about us. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. <sighs> yeah. I don't know how much longer I can resist him. You hate him and you love him. It's the ultimate dysfunctional relationship. I know. Don't ever think you'll change him, though. He's a rebel without a coffin. Hey, back at Harris's place, you said we had what we needed. What were you talking about? The old graveyard on the map. There was a marker drawn on the upper left field. It's not a sure thing, but it's a place to start. I have a good feeling about it. Okay. Now what? Got a shovel? So you see, I've traveled the world in pursuit of my interests in history, ancient artifacts, and the occasional buried treasure. And why haven't you settled yet? I've never had a reason to. It always seems there's a new adventure waiting around the next corner. It's a big world out there, Tim. Yeah, so I've heard. But this island it has a rich history. I've been reading about writings and maps that have recently been uncovered that may lead to finds that have only been rumored about, which are now on the verge of resurfacing, and I want to be there when they do. I'm pretty up on most of the old shipwrecks. The kids who grow up here, they hear it all the time in school. It's more than just old shipwrecks. But exactly what remains to be seen. It's getting late, we better go. I have work to do tonight. Are you kidding? At this hour? A rest for the wicked. You must be one evil son of a bitch. Hey, Randy. Sheriff, sure. you gotta believe me, I got nothing to do with this, not a thing. Settle down. No one's accusing you of anything, okay? Is he dead? Well, he's not alive. Can you tell me what happened here? Well, I'm, I'm driving down Front Street. This guy comes out of the Harbor Light and he flags me down. Was he alone? No, there was this other guy with him. They were talking, and then this guy gets in my cab. When I asked him where he was going, the other guy said to take him to the hospital. Said the guy's not feeling well or something. So I step on the pedal, I head over to the ER. All the way over, the guy's quiet as a mouse. When we get there, I turn to get my fare, and I see this. So this guy in the back seat never said anything to you? Only when he first got in. After that, nothing. What about his friend? Do you remember anything about him? No. 
He was wearing glasses, dark ones, at night. I remember that. All right. Take Randy inside and get a written statement from him, and call Dr. Kent as well. Right, Sheriff. You're gonna have to impound your cab. But, Sheriff... I know, I know. It's only until tomorrow, okay? Just need to remove this thing from the back seat for evidence, and I'll get your cab back to you. I'll give you a call. dollars in that till. One thousand five hundred. Do you know how much is in there? No, why don't you tell me? I'll tell you. Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred. I'm over six bills short. And you think I took it? Well, who else has that kind of access? Anybody who works here? I can't be everywhere at once, and sometimes I get caught up in the back. I'm not just talking about tonight. We've been coming up short for a week, ever since business increased. Yeah, you mean ever since Golden Boy here came to stay. Don't try to pass it off on Colin. And you defended him. That's it, you're through. Take his stuff and go. Jesus Christ. You're lucky I don't call the cops. Now get out of my place. I don't believe this. You two deserve each other. I am really sorry about this. I feel responsible. It's not your fault. You pay me to keep an eye on things. How could I not see this happening? He's a petty thief. It happens. Now I need a new bartender. Well, I don't want to influence your decision one way or the other, but Gary's a good bartender and he's right here. Is that right? What he said. All right. Get back here and give it a shot. Sorry that it had to happen out here in front of everybody. I know. Everyone sure got an earful. Most of them seem to know you. Well, I roll with a big crew. I hope we didn't scare anyone off. I think I've got a good way to keep everybody from leaving, if you don't mind. What are you thinking? Everybody! Half-price well drinks for the next half hour. Drink up, boys. It won't last long. <laughs> I'm a grave robber. You want the ring, don't you? I don't even know if it exists. Or if it'll do what you say. I'm always letting people talk me into these things that blow up in my face. Tom, I can only do so much for you. Why can't you just be grateful and dig this guy's head up? Because I question your motives, actually. Why are you trying to help me? I've never done anything for you. Well, you never did anything to me, either. I just don't want to see you get hurt. I want you to be happy. But why? Because I like you. A lot. Oh. I like you too, Frankie. <laughs> hey, whatever happened to that boyfriend of yours? They found the body. That's a shame. Yeah, well, it sucks to be me. Hey. What are you gonna do now? Pray for rough seas. <laughs> I might get lucky. Could be another boating accident. Hoping another hot young blonde joins the fraternity. <laughs> hey, I may be dead, but I still got my needs, mister. <laughs> you ready to go digging? I guess. Then let's go head hunting. This way.
don't step on that one. He's got issues. Really? Yeah, I've seen him around and he is not a happy camper. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, okay, I feel a force very near. And it's nasty. We're close. We're very close. I saw a grave here earlier than the 1800s. You blame them? Who'd want to be buried in a creepy old place like this anyhow? Not you? Oh, hell no. I'm praying for a big storm, remember? <laughs> so what exactly are we looking for? According to the map, nothing. But a lot's changed around here since then. Well, what does nothing look like? It looks just like... that! A faceless marker. There's some very strong mojo coming from the ground. I think you should dig there. I think it's time we reassess what our official position is with regard to these bodies. It's become clear that they are, or were, in fact, real people. There is just no way that that piece of rock in the back of Randy's cab was alive 15 minutes earlier. And there's no way that it wasn't. So what do I tell people? Have you ever heard of ossification? Ossification, no. It's a condition in which soft tissue, like cartilage, is turned into bone. So is that what's happening here? Well, it can't happen to this extent, but I think it should be our official position for the time being. All right. So what is it really? Don't worry, Sheriff. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, hopefully before the whole island turns to stone. Let's hope so. I wouldn't even know what to warn people about. You ever heard of a Gorgon? How much deeper? You're almost there. And I have to say, you've recovered your strength very nicely. It takes a lot of He-Man power to do what you're doing. Thanks. I've been taking my vitamins. Hey. What'd I tell ya? So excited. <laughs> open it, open it. Right. Stand back. Tom, I'm already dead. You can't hurt me. All right. Well, here goes. Just remember, this was all your idea. Yeah. Stop being a baby and just open it already. I'm on the lair. What did you dig up in the old graveyard? Tim, what are you doing? Everyone who's ever worn that ring has suffered misery and death. And yeah, I cracked his skull! Just tell me where you dumped the body. I'm the only one who signs for things around here. I thought I was doing you a favor. Yeah, uh... <laughs> 